Hello everyone, a very good morning to you. Welcome to today's edition of The Bottom Line. Here are the top headlines. Tourism Ministry launches online program for tourist facilitators. DGC advises passengers planning to travel abroad to check fares on airlines website. Unexplored tourist spots being identified to revive Kerala's tourism industry. Indian Heritage Conservation to get a boost as Centre decides to set up Indian Institute of Heritage. Canada extends ban on passenger flights from India by a month till September 21st. Chhattisgarh Tourism to form guidelines for homestays and waterways tourism. The Ministry of Tourism has launched an online certificate program with the objective of creating a pool of well-trained and professional tourist facilitators across the country. Rajya Sabha was informed on Tuesday. G. Kishan Reddy, Union Tourism Minister said, the system will provide basic, advanced, spoken language and refresher courses for candidates. Inputs are being received by IITTM from the leading universities for developing the course content. DGCA advised passengers planning to travel to international destinations to check ticket prices on the website of the airlines, concerned as meta search engines at times do not reflect the actual point-to-point fare. DGCA said, passengers travelling to international destinations are requested to check the fare preferably from the website of the concerned airlines, as the meta search engines at times do not reflect the actual point-to-point fare and do make combinations of multiple airlines and end up with an exaggerated figure. With domestic tourism in Kerala having suffered losses of 33,000 crore INR from March 2020 to December 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the state government has said unexplored tourist destinations are being identified to bring in more travellers for reviving the key sector. According to Kerala Tourism Minister P.A. Mohammad Riyas, the tourism sector has also suffered a loss of 7,000 crore INR in foreign exchange earnings as the number of domestic and international travellers have dropped drastically since 2016 and especially during the pandemic period. That's all we have for you in today's edition of The Waterline. Thank you for joining us. For more such travel and tourism industry updates, stay tuned to the world. Have a great day.